guys, Kelly Walters here, and today we are using a product called CAD Prints Perma Twill. Now, these are something that Stalls produces for you in our services department, but what's magnificent about this product is that it's 100% polyester twill that has full color capabilities, it's great for light and dark garments, and what's even better is that it has a permanent adhesive, which means you do not have to sew this type of logo down. Now we are going to use a variety of different sizes. I'll also review some of the cost, but today we are going to use a really popular style that's out in the retail market, which is a denim jacket. And we're using traveling and outdoor um, inspired patches. So because these are already produced, we're not cutting, we're not weeding, we're not printing. These are ready to be applied. We are going to head over to the Hottronics AutoClean that I use, and I will show you how you don't have to worry about seams or buttons by using a couple of tools. Now, this is the logo, or these are the logos that we are using today. I'll actually be using three of these, um, not this larger one, because I've already applied it along with several others to the back. Once we are done heat applying the front, I'll show you the back because this whole thing just is going to look awesome. Now, a couple of things you do need to make sure you have on hand when you are ordering uh, these type of patches is a cover sheet because you can have some uh, color come or transfer to the cover sheet so you will more than likely be throwing away um, this sheet afterwards. And then because I said we are uh, going over buttons and seams and pockets, we will be using a 16 by 20 printing pillow today. So um, we've reviewed the tools that you need, the garment, and the patches, so let's go heat apply. Now I'm still going to thread just like I normally would. Now the other thing that I've already done to prep what we are doing is I have already pre-pressed our garment. So make sure you pre-press to help eliminate any type of wrinkles or moisture that still might be in the garment. Now, what we need to do next is make sure we have our pillow. So I am gonna go from the back instead of trying to fight that. and just wiggle that pillow in there as best as possible. Now, this hood is actually detachable, so if you find that something like that gets in your way, feel comfortable enough to remove it. Now, our press is set at 300 degrees for 20 seconds, and our goal is going to be to heat apply all patches at the same time. That way we aren't adding any other steps into this uh, project. I am going to use my coffee cup down there, and then I'm going to add just a couple of fun patches up at the corner. Now because we are uh, close to the edge on this, just really make sure that you do in fact have your patches on top of the platen and not slightly off, that way they can still get even pressure. Earlier I mentioned if you have a carrier, you would warm peel, but as you can see, these are something that we have just laid on the garment and there is no carrier. Next, you will apply your cover sheet or just lay it over, and then you are going to bring your heat press down. Now, we have lots of obstructions here. So we've got um, pockets, we have buttons, we have seams, and the reason why you want to use that pillow is so that all of those uh, merchandising elements go into the pillow and you're allowing the upper platen to hit the decoration with a smooth um, press. Now 
Now, since I am using the auto clamp, this will automatically pop open once we are complete. And just like that, you've now applied three patches with just one hit. Let's go take a look at this garment and review the cost per piece. Okay guys, let's take a look at this jacket from front to back. So you saw the three patches that we applied here on the front, but what you didn't get to see was that we created this really cool back. We use texture for travel, which is actually our uh, printable soft foam or um, our CAD cut patterns using soft foam. And of course, we have decked out this entire jacket with 10 unique traveling patches. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is, of course, you're probably not going to do 10 jackets for one specific customer unless they are coming to you ready to throw down some dough. Now, in this particular case, this is how I want you to think about a project like this and what you can really get or warrant in terms of price. Not only are we hitting a retail market, you could also offer the potential to really customize the layout using certain patches. And of course, you are giving that customer full color capabilities. The best part, you are not loading this jacket up with lots of stitches and time and of course having to puncture the garment you also noticed we applied right over a pocket and we didn't have to sew it together so let me give you a breakdown in terms of cost now with cad prints permatwill or cad prints in general the minimum purchase is 25 dollars now, the units change all depending on the size of your logo. So I'm gonna give you a couple of different sizes to help trigger what's really possible in your mind. Now, a one by one patch, um, which is actually, let's see if we can find it. This little guy on the back is only 17 cents only 17 cents but what that means in order to hit that 25 dollars minimum is you need 148 pieces now to give you size pers size perspective this is a two and a quarter by two and a quarter and this is four by four now this guy cost a dollar 32 and you only need 19 to hit that 25 dollars minimum where this guy cost three dollars and 52 cents and you only need eight pieces. So the larger patch is a great way to really customize what the customer, customer needs. And in this case, you can have much smaller quantities. You can have 19 instead of 148, and then constantly turn out your patches in your inventory. Now, this jacket is obviously a one and done, but what the customer could easily do is add patches if somebody was willing to heat apply as they needed or traveled throughout their time. From a vendor standpoint and you creating this product for a customer, it would be a really good way to have a variety of patches that could potentially target specific customers. Think of brides, think of going to Disney, think of honeymoons, think of um, getting, getting married. I know I keep mentioning brides and honeymoons, but that is a really, really easy way to have a variety of patches and then customize that specific look. I hope this um, really sparked some interest to go out there and try something new with our CAD Prince Permatwill because of how easy it is to apply a patch without needing to sew. I'm Kelly Walters and thanks so much for tuning in. We will catch you next time. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and of course, comment below how much you love the content. Thanks guys, we'll see you later.